Hey guys, this is Asaka. I want to share the pro this project with you as it's created. I just love it, guys. I have um, two processing videos, two parts. If you want to watch, if you don't have time, you should watch the finished one. That's fine, guys. I just love this how it turned out. Um, let me show you guys. I did not do anything. This I used the uh, screw in that. You know what, guys? Um, don't use that. Use a strong, a you know, glue like E six thousand, whatever. Because this is the glue is not, and uh, I mean the <clears throat> yeah, the screw is not strong enough because it's kind of you know not stay in shape. I did not do anything. I just leave it that. I like that, guys. And for this, what about I just so on the edges guy okay and then I paint this with this color uh, toasted vanilla from Ford Art love this color paint and then I cut all the soup the paper that I used from graphic 45 the sweet sentiment this one I'm pretty I used the whole cheese 12 by 12 guys so because this one is this piece is um eight by two inches so I get uh four yeah, the total of the whole sheets, this um, egg piece is there. I distress all the edges with one stain. And I use, I'm not sure if I can tell that, I use my bed friend script stencil there. You can see two there. I just love it, guys. Some there. On this one, I just sew them and then paint it with this and then I stamp it. After, you know, first I just sew some of it on the center here before I use my uh, bed friend script stencil on there. And then I use a shimmer paint spray color. Let me show you what color that I use. So this is an eggnog color. I love Stacy Shimmer product, guys. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out, guys. And I use Hasso Berry. That's I think what it called. And then um, I believe I used the. Uh, I think I used that one too. Um, no, I think the spray three color. I did use three of these, and I used the Treasure Home there. If I find it right. So I just spray and then I use a paintbrush and water to blend the color together to mix because when you spray the wet two color it's com combine the color together. So if you don't want color to mix up you have to spray one color and let it dry and then spray the next color. But I want the color to mix it together. So and after that I you this spray from I Am Roses and this is my she put honeycomb there and I use some flower here. On the flower here I use this uh, pop, art, pop art pink. Love, love this color. And if you see my video I did, when I started I used the white flower and I ended up to like it so I changed the whole thing so I used this flower instead. And I just Splatter some black ink there. This from Tartar for the I have this a long time. I need to use this so get that look. I just simply love it, guys. This is how it turned out. This is my clock there. I just gesso it and use some uh, pop art pink, some of these two to get some of the color. I just do it everywhere. I simply just love it, guys. That pretty much it I think oh on the edges here I just just saw it guys. So here I just saw some here. See? Okay, pretty much that it guys. Thank you everyone for keep watching and I will put the link down below to all the products used in this project. Alright guys, thank you everyone for keep watching and we'll see you guys next video. Bye bye guys.